Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. Once again, I want to apologize for the distance between video recording. I'm trying to get things going again, but um, once again, I'm just trying to get back into the office, get back to work. My, my schedule's getting all screwed up. The heat in the attic is kind of preventing me from doing too much recording, but I'm going to do as best I can, uh, get things smoothed out again, hopefully re recording once a day again and get things uh, posted. But right now... Um, we're just going to jump straight into a mission. I said last time we we're going to go ahead and pull off one more mission on this planet. Uh, but before we do, I'm going to quickly jump into the mech bay. Now I did, um, many people have uh, corrected my math on the t -Semp cannon running in the um, Shadowhawk Lamb. So I did put it in there. We're going to try it. Now I needed to take all six flamers out, or seven flamers out to be able to put that in. Or sorry, no, it was six flamers I took out. Uh, and I took the last flamer out, the seventh one, and I put in, um, what did I put in? A Clan Heavy Improved Small Laser and a Clan ER Small Laser for one ton in total. Uh, so it's 20 damage for the uh, Improved Small and, um, sorry, 30 damage for that and 20 damage for the ER Small. So 50 damage extra. Uh, it was better than just leaving one flamer in. I didn't think the flamer was going to do all that much. But, you know, those two weapons are short-range weapons. But since we're jumping directly behind our opponents, you know, those will work just great. And I, I took out the flamer uh, fire control system, obviously. And I put in our recoil reduction fire control system, which is minus two. Now, I don't have uh, upper arm mount for that. And I can't use a weapon mount because it doesn't have um, lower arm and hand actuators to be able to mount that. Uh, and I even had to take out the uh, Omni arm lower for to be able to put that weapon in. So it's kind of sucky. But I did also switch out the the um, cooling system to a double heatsink kit instead of the uh, prototype double heatsink kit. Uh, we didn't need to go with all this minus percentage for heat because we're not we're not generating that much heat at all. So yeah, so that's what I did. Uh, now it's getting fixed. When we get to the next planet, when we take that uh, uh, mission after this one. Um, then uh, we're going to go ahead and use that and see how it works. But until then, let's go ahead and take a mission with our second lance. We already know which one that's going to be. We're going to go to the command center here real quick. And we're going to take hot landing. Um, a, a coalition dropship is dropped on the planet. Um, and it's a heavy lance. So we're going to take this one and see how well we do. It's a battle in the desert, so it's going to be interesting. And we're going to go full salvage. Uh, against the Oregon, Oregon Coalition, but we're going to be getting lots more rep with them in the future, so I'm not worried about that. So we're just going to accept this, and we'll flush out the main lance. And go with the second lance here. I'm going to go with Victor. Come on, buddy. Bushwhacker. Mian Xian, and you. And then we'll go with Scramble and... Uh, Earthquake, Focus, and Swift. I'm not not mistaken. Um, yeah, let's do this. Alright, what's going on here? Okay, so we've got a Lance with us. And we know this map. Alright, the straight ahead. It's rock and roll. So most likely it'll be two Lances that we're facing here. I know it's only got one, but... Uh, we'll see. We'll see. What do we got here with us? Uh, Palisade? LB-10X, LRM-15. Okay, that's not bad. Light Carrier, MMLs, Hetzer, LRM-15, and a Carrier with LRM-20 and Cinderies. We just have to stay out of that guy's way. Alright, let's just move up. We're going to go along the road, I think. So let's get up this way. Mm -hmm. I'm going. On my way. Moving to position. Bust the now. Let's see where these guys go. Are they gonna follow us? Oh. Hearing the enemies moving. I'm hearing vehicles. It's probably a a reinforcement lance moving up. Um Keep going on the road. Yep. Okay, we got somebody up here. What is he? A warhammer. Ooh. Well, hello there. Aye, aye. 
Um, let's get into some trees over here. And, uh... Eyes on of course you do. Stay on the road. No sweat. We'll keep some height advantage up here, I think. Vedette. Alright, not worried about that guy. What the hell is that, Frankie? Frankie. I can't remember what... Is that a... Centurion, or what is that? No. Isn't it... Is that an awesome? No, that's not an awesome. What is that? There's the hammer. Kind of looks like an archer, but I don't know. Find out soon enough, I guess. Looks like he's taken a little bit of damage already internally. So there's our vedette. All right. Um, Receiving you. I want to try and get an early bar barrage on these guys, I think. No idea what the chance to hit is. Let's just get up here. Get some speed going. Get a bit of evasion. Alright, got somebody else back here. Laser carrier, that's not good. And a rough neck. Two, three, four, five, six energy. Don't know what that could that what that's gonna be. So this is a really great chance to hit. We're gonna take this now. Got to remember what ammo we got. We got dead fire. Ah, uh, we do want warhammer parts. Yeah, SRM's out of range. Let's just go with standard LRM. Um, we're not using any heat, so let's go ahead. Hopefully the barrage hits. Okay, one laser hit. Looks like it missed the barrage. Yeah, it is. Ah, yeah, well. Oh ah, well. He's decided he wants to... Oh, no, he's going back through it. That's a pretty fast Warhammer. Uh, why did those penetrate? That shot went internal. I know, but why? Special ammo or something? So I've been reading the notes. It seems they've balanced the, the, out the heat in the game a bit. So there's like a heat threshold is how much that they can actually apply, I think, to you. Or trebuchet. Waiting on you, Commander. And then you kind of be, become a little bit heat immune for a bit. Not heat immune, but you take less damage from it. Let's get up here. Pedal to the metal. Um, let's go Ultra on this. See if we can remove this guy. And we'll fire. Wow, we missed both. Really? That's lousy. Thumpy McThumperson? Waiting for orders. That doesn't sound good. He didn't shoot at us, so. All an ass. Getting some weird ass lag. Alright, let's just fire at this guy. Firing. Wow. Keep shooting like that, we're all gonna die. Keep shooting like that, and we're all gonna die. Got to the Frankie. Yep. I don't know here. What do we got? Ah, 44. 44 with the roughneck. A pair of PPCs in this guy. So those are all pulse lasers. It's not so bad. 57 on that guy though. Uh, let's just go ahead. I don't have uh, slug ammo installed in this guy, unfortunately, but we'll fire on this guy. On the trigger. Mm -hmm. That was a miss. Guess I'm gonna have to try harder. I guess so. We keep shooting like that. We're gonna die horribly over here. What was that? Come on, guys. Do some damage, because Lord knows we ain't doing anything.
thought that said Incubus back there, but I don't think it is. Yeah, so they rebalance the heat damage against vehicles and buildings. Alright. Bulldog. Ultra Auto Cannon. So that's the other vehicle. How far can we get up here? Not very far. Question is, do I want to push these guys and try and get in on them? I think we need to keep the... Uh... Guy, why do I feel like moving here is going to be shooting my own guys in the back? Who can take it more? Don't hit us in the back, please. Just shoot over us. Please just shoot over us. Let's leave the VSPL off just in case. And we'll just fire at this guy. Firing at him. Crap. Guess mama's gonna have to try it again. Yeah, you think? Okay. All right, Swifty, let's get up as far... Let's get into the trees. Get that superior ablat of armor. And we'll go after this guy again. God, the chances to hit are terrible. 29 on this guy, though. 44 with the missiles. There's the Warhammer. Large improved heavy lasers. Clan. Man, we can't have those hit. I think we need to shoot at this guy. Let's switch just to one so we don't jam. Better chance to hit too. And we'll fire. You betcha. Oh, those are back shots. Oh, <gasps> back shots. Thought he was facing us. Hey, but that's peeling away. Give me a shot at the Warhammer then. Where's he going? You chicken shit. Order. Uh Let's get our stability back. Is that the bulldog or is that that's the bulldog? Okay. Let's go after this Frankie. Twenty one on the vedettes. Thumpy McThumperson, and we're gonna have to go after that guy. Um Wait, how is, oh the rigor, does this guy have better range? I guess it does, that's really weird. Uh, okay, let's just shoot on the Frankie. Alright, well, started a fire anyway. And of course the Gauss Rifle's jammed. Affirmative. Not exactly sure how a Gauss Rifle jams, but whatever. It's the first time I've ever seen it jam. Hmm. I think we go for the back shots. Got the angle, taking the shot. Yeah, well. That's a miss. Okay. Sure, now you put the sensor lock on. Alright, a little bit. Comes that laser carrier. Alright. I think we better try and sweep this upper road first. 
think we try and sweep this road first. Dumpy McDumperson missed. All right. A little bit of damage on that guy. At least they're missing. What can I do for you? Jeez. I think we gotta take the shot. Let's uh -huh. get into here. Wonder if we should just go ultra on this guy. What's the chance? Twenty six. Ah, uh, I don't like our chances to hit anyway. Let's just go with this. Right, Commander. Maybe if we freak this guy out enough, he'll just keep running away. He took one hit. Receiving you. Location confirmed. Okay, we can see this guy now, so definitely want to go after him. Standard LRMs firing. Wow. Well, at least they missed. Now's the time we really need that lamb mech in here and shoot him in the back again. Okay, that trap, what's he doing? Commander. Um, okay, the goss is back. What if we just stand here? What's our chance to hit? 46, huh? 76 on the Frankie, though. Let's take the shot of the Frankie. Engaging. Ooh! We can salvage that. Ooh! Was that an ammo? I think that was an ammo explosion. Ooh! I'm listening. That was brutal. Victor. Uh, we want to hammer this guy, I think. Yeah, let's see if we can pull a bit out of the battle. Jesus Christ, you missed. Yeah, not sure who it was that was talking about the VSPL effects. Yeah, they look great. VSPL effects are cool. That's for sure. Once again, I just want to thank everybody for the great comments and the great uh, insightfulness. I noticed Talondale's back on the uh, on the channel again. He's going through the old episodes. He's always got good comments. So if you're going through the the other episodes, have a look at his comments. Definitely knows a lot about BattleTech, so a lot more than I do. That's for sure. Lots of great comments about loadout and. Um, you know, max potential, and thanks again for people who corrected me on my math with that, uh, the, uh, T-Semp. I don't know what I was thinking when I did it. Normally I'm pretty good at math, but, I don't know. But we'll find out for sure once we, once we're able to run it. The next, I think next episode, we'll, we should have it in play. So hopefully, um, we'll be able to figure out what's going on with it. Okay. Let's see if we can pull this guy out of the battle. Yeah, finally you hit. Okay, nice. Wait, that's the laser carrier? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. 
You got reinforcements coming, don't worry, buddy. You got reinforcements coming, here they come. Jam those motherfuckers. And we're gonna switch these. Oh yeah, they're all back too, that's beautiful. SRM. Gonna go with Inferno. Hopefully we can uh, do some good damage on this guy. Here they come. So I think if if anything, the victor's the one that's got to be taking on the Warhammer. Ah oh, man, um, let's just reserve. Let's get Earthquake out of the way first. Now for a 50 ton mech, the trebuchet is not bad. It's relatively fast. It's got lo good ranged weapons. It's got three medium lasers for close range. Armor's crap, but you know, other than that, it's not bad. I do. I have to say though, after running the dervish, good to go. I really like the dervish. Which is strange for me to say because I, I was never a dervish fan before. Double time. Let's go. I am now though. After we've reloaded the thing out, and it was an older model too, right? We've reloaded it out, and it works really well. Okay, let's hammer this guy. Target confirmed. Yeah, there's the hit. Oh, no kill though. Solid connection on that one. Really badly damaged. Definitely going down next turn. Unless they get a shot at, uh, our guys get a shot at him with missile launchers or something. What the hell is he using? Well, we can step on him anyway. We can step on him. I honestly thought when we were targeting the uh, laser carrier that we were actually shooting Thumpy McThumperson. What are you trying to be Mockingbird or something? What the hell? Damage minimal. Yeah. It's trying to be Mockingbird. It's not going to work. Man, her and that Grinner, she just wrecked things with that Grinner, man, I'm telling you. Come on, finish him off, finish him off. Yeah. All right. Oh. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. Hardcore, you know the score, girl. Hardcore, you know the score. 57 with the cluster, large VSBL 44. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to get some better stuff to be mounting on this thing. Bulldog, Ultra Auto Cannon. Let's get Ultra Auto Cannon 2s. That could be a kill shot. But I mean, it's only got a uh, AC5. Let's go after this guy. Let's hope, hopefully we get a few hits on him. Oh, VSBL missed. Beautiful effects though. That deep purple's kind of, well the purple's kind of cool. Come on, somebody finish him up. You're gonna get us off now. Oh, they are. Yes, you are. Okay, um... What's our stepping damage here? 33, huh? Is it double versus a vehicle? I can't remember. Well... On my way. We're gonna play this a little differently anyway. Cause fuck this guy. Uh, let's hold off on the barrage. Leave the ER mediums off, but let's put some Inferno in this guy's back. There you go. Don't think he's going to be shooting this turn. Yeah, I don't know why I was shooting. I guess I was only shooting the Vedette because he was close and he was easy to hit. But he's only got an auto cannon 5, so... Yeah, that guy's not doing anything. Waiting on you, Commander. All right, the Senti. What's our damage? 30? Wow, it's even worse than the Menchen, eh? Um, let's get into here. I read you, Commander. Moving out. It's everything. You know, I was hoping to get them into fire position. 
like being on fire, but I'm the one that ends up taking it. This guy's got a lot of armor. All right, hopefully we hit the back, but we're going to fire everything at this uh, vehicle. Ultra, we're going to go two shots. Here it comes. They both hit. Beautiful. He's panicking. Excellent. How do we do? A lot of front hits, looks like. Yeah, when we shoot from the side, we usually hit the front of the back. And if we shoot from the uh, the front of the, the front of the back, we usually hit the sides. I'm not exactly sure why that is, but whatever. Receiving you. All right, let's get up here. I think we're gonna have to leave our lasers off of this guy. But let's see what we can do to this guy. Actually, we can fire everything. Let's do it because I want to remove them. Those are all side hits. I bet you. I bet you any money. Screw you! Yep, those were all side hits. Of course they were, because what else would they be? Uh, wait. Uh, okay, that's in trees there. Just want to make sure we're in the trees. They're going to be shooting at us. I want to take less damage. Uh, yeah, same. Let's go after this guy. Unless we can get a kill shot on somebody here. Nope. Mm, nope. Yep. That's a better shot, but that's the bulldog. <sighs> no, I think we need to go after this guy. Here it comes. Here we go. Ah, that VSPL's missing again. It's really rolling the dice, you know? It's a half decent weapon. It's got okay range. It's got good... Oh, he's running away. It's got good damage, but it's just got a hit. And I don't think it's the weapon per se. I think we definitely need to get the weapon mounts in the arm. Um, and the upper recoil, everything. Just get get that arm maxed out as best we can. Which I'm hoping to do. We do have a plus two weapon modifier. That I haven't used yet, so I'm hoping to drop that in there. That'll help a little bit. Ooh, not bad. Okay. Who's going first here? 23, the uh, trebuchet. At least he's not shooting me. Okay, Thumpy McThumperson should go down this turn. His side is severely damaged. Uh, so we should be able to take him out. I think the Men Shen, I think we should probably keep him on... Uh, Waiting for orders. The other guy, though. I think we should be shooting this guy in the back again. Uh, Earthquake. Yes, Commander. Do you think he can take care of that guy? Can't get beside him, though, can we, unless we run? But we're okay. Bad chance for the Goss rifle, but let's get down here. Acknowledged. I, I want to take the chance and see if we can kill this guy. Because we're on this side now, I think. So, let's go after him. Oh, for I bet you that was all in the front. Oh, we got him. Never mind. Good to go. I should just learn to keep my mouth shut. Move God, this guy's... I I'll be so glad. I, I lugged this mech early on. But now it's like, it's becoming... Cumbersome to use. Alright, let's just go after this guy. We can't use that, but we can use that because there's no heat. Well, leave the barrage off. I want to use it against the other guy. So we're going to use these on his back. Let's go ahead. Got the, uh, the I like them apples. Are all gone, Commander. It's okay. You've done your job. Ooh, that's a heavy hit. Not much on the left in that location. It's okay. What can I do for you? That's okay. Is that 
green. That's blue. Can't get behind him. Diggity dang. Get into here though. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. Okay, let's go after um we could well, ultra's jammed. This is the vedette. We could get a kill on the vedette if we get lucky and hit the front. Maybe. We'll just fire the we'll just follow the uh, MRMs. There we go. Beautiful. Bye bye. So the jam wasn't a big deal. Excellent. I'm listening. This guy is running, man. Let's just fire at him from behind. Guess I'll give it to him then. Uh, VSPL missed again. So I think we got. I'm pretty sure we picked up some AC10 slug ammo. Or, or the LBX10 slug ammo, I mean. So I have to get a, a ton of that put in. The other thing too is maybe pull that out and put a put a Gauss rifle in. Ow! Fuck. Hold on there, buddy. Commander. Yeah. I'm wounded. I know. Hang on there, buddy. Hang on there. Look at the flames splitting, splitting, spreading. Damn it! Go away. Damage minimal. See, the Menchen's got as much ammo as anybody else. Like uh, any other 50-ton mech, it's maxed out. So they just seem to like killing that mech for some reason. Or maybe it's just because he's fast, and I tend to put him into positions that warrant him getting shot, which is probably most likely the case. Okay. Focus is going last. So we're going to have to get some guys in front of him. Oh shit, the trebuchet is going first again. Yep. Damn it. Engine crit. My mech's coming apart around me. <sighs> Waiting on you, Commander. Let's just get rid of this fucking guy. There's a whole lot of fuck you for you. Alright, Quakey. Let's get between. Standing by. Can we get in between? We can't even block the enemy. Damn it. I was hoping I could get like right in here. Can we jump there? Nope. It's not even a position we can get to. Well. Minefield and flame. Who's putting a minefield down? God damn it. Allies. <sighs> allies aren't really allies sometimes. Let's just go and shoot at this guy. He isn't gone yet, so. Copy that. Okay, leg hit. Oh man, everything hit. That's beautiful. Right here. Mm -hmm. Can you attract that vehicle? 80 with the LBX. I think I want to shoot the vehicle though. I think I want to get it get its attention here. In Christ, you missed that thing again. I don't know, guys. That VSPL. It's like nine tons or something. Maybe it's better served dividing it to something else. Ooh, there's a big one that hit. Like Crap. <sighs> At least it's an Omni mech. Yeah, it pretty much seals your fate. Once you go down, you know, there's not much you can really do about it. Especially if you're on the front line, right?
Wish these guys would advance. Okay, well. Commander? Let's get the flank on. On my way. Let's get the flank on. Um 70%, that's nice. Same on this guy, less on this guy. Let's go after this guy. Well, there goes that guy. Gotcha. I wonder if he was running an XL. Probably. Well, you're just going to stand there. Confirm. BSPL missed again. Ready for orders. It's annoying because I, I know how much damage that thing can do. Copy that. And it's just missing. This Gauss rifle hits way more than that does. But then this mech is set up to, to fire this Gauss rifle, so... Yeah, it's tricky. I don't know. I'm not going to give up on it just yet. Like I said, I want to get the weapons mount in there. We've got a plus two weapon mount. We need to get a plus three weapon mount. Maybe we can get one out of this battle. That'll The plus three will definitely help, that's for sure. To go from 44 to like 60 something or something like that. Okay, not bad. Got four of them, all right. Hot load, misfired, damaged. Interesting. All right, where are you going? He's still, he's panicked. He drove, drives through the fire and he's panicked. I wonder if that guy's dropping. That's soft cap. I wonder if that's heat mines. I wonder if that's what he's dropping. Okay. You had ammo? Or are you just overheating? Probably just overheating. One of his missile weapons is gone. The other one's not working. Or his damage, I mean. Waiting for orders. Nope, let's go from the side. Affirmative. Ultra still functioning. We're gonna go again with a full double shot. Firing on target. Beautiful. It's going down, I think, right? Critical hit, Commander. Nope. Standing by. Aye aye. I'm going to go after this guy only because um, I don't think the uh, the victor can shoot at it. Target's taking a critical oh, target's taking a critical death. Oh, you don't have to move. That's not bad. Alright, firing. Miss again. What are you even shooting at? Has that guy even hit? Keeps firing, but keeps missing, I think. Come on, knock him over. I think we go before him anyway. Oh yeah. Alright, uh, he's all yours, buddy. Let's finish this guy off, please. Let's go home. See ya. Sure is. Mission successful. Well, three hundred and twenty-four thousand in in uh, payment, but that's all going to go into the men's shen. It's a good thing this is an Omni Mech, although we lost the double heat sink kit, the heat sink uh, plus two in the core. We lost the whole risk section on the arm. Well, I mean, we're we're going to be dropping this out anyway, so I mean. Yeah, it's just not up to the to the standard that we need to be fighting with at this point. So it's got to go. All right, a warhammer. We can take two piece, three pieces of the warhammer. Hephaestos. 
Roughneck. I wonder, I can't remember if we've got a Warhammer part from somewhere else. Combat shotgun, what the hell is this? Six ton melee item, two recoil. Jury rig handel LBX, fires cluster munitions, plus 15% melee damage, plus 10% additional melee. That's kind of cool. I think that was on the Frankie, wasn't it? Internal ammo, 10 shots. Okay. HVAC 2. Hyper velocity auto cannon. Double critical chance with this weapon. So that was probably what penned the Amen Shin early on. Large improved heavy. Yeah, I think we just take the three. Uh, oh my god, ultra auto cannon twos. Seven tons, I know. It's a bit heavy for that. Exchangers, we've got lots of. Heat bank would be nice, but we don't need it right now. And any weapon we take, we gotta take ammo with it too, right? So I think we just take. We'll take the three Warhammer parts. See, I would replace the VSPL with this thing. It, it, it's just such a better weapon. But, you know, if if we do have a Warhammer part kicking around, we might be able to uh, use it to assemble this guy. I don't know, because this is a named mech, we might have to have four of the same. But I think we would be a, a, it would be a bad choice not to take this. So we're going to go ahead and take that. Okay, we got a Frankie part. 45 tons. What the hell is a Frankie anyway? Frankie mech sort of supporting a wheel of wear weaponry being cobbled together from many different mech parts. Okay. Sure. So medium lasers we don't need. So we can get rid of those. I'm going to hang on to the medium pulse lasers. We've got five of these already, so let's get rid of them. We don't need them. A pair of PPCs. Don't have PPCs, so we'll keep that. Endo composite. We, we've got one. We might use it, but we don't need that particular one. 11 heat sinks. Wow. Sell those. Um, we'll keep the doubles. Fire control system energy. We've already got one, but we're not going to need another one. We'll keep the ammo uh, in case we pick up some of these in the future. And we'll go that route. Yeah, we knew it was going to be a lot. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and repair right now. Oh, wait. Um, then I have to go back and individually repair the rest of the mechs with the armor and everything. Which should be fine, I think, because they're all maxed out anyway. So I'm just going to say no to this. And then I'll individually go in and repair the mechs. Because the Menchen is going to get flushed out of the lineup anyway, I think. I'll probably just strip it and maybe we'll just sell it. Because I don't know. I don't think we're going to go back to it at all. I know it's an Omni mech, but we're not going to take a step backwards and use it, I don't think. Well... Should we just go ahead and do it? I'm wondering... We've got the Mortis. So the Menchan's coming out, the Centurion's coming out. We've got the Mortis. Right, and these two move in. So that's three mechs for another Lance. And what do we have in storage? Um, got the Rifleman. I know it's an old version of the Rifleman, but... We'll probably end up using that. And do we have... Whoops, not base 1 to 3. I want uh, light. We got a fire starter and an Arrhenia. So we do have other mechs we could use for the third lance. Yeah. I mean, the yeah. Let's hang on to it. It is an Omni mech, right? Uh, actually, I wanted to check the heavy here. So, we cannot assemble... Where are you here? There it is there. Yeah, I think we have to have... Yeah, I think we have to have another war... Oh, maybe... Do we have any... I thought we had a Warhammer piece, but I guess we don't. That's the Vulture. Cataphract. Avatar. Archer. Yeah, so we don't. 
Okay, so if you find a Warhammer piece, you might be able to use it and assemble this guy. I don't know though, it might it might be a specific mech that we need to get parts for, but I don't know. Um, but we're going to hang on to it anyway. Okay guys, so when we come back next time, I'm going to get these guys repaired. Um, I'll, I think I'll, I'll get this guy repaired. It is an Omni Mech, so we'll re I'll repair everything. We're going to jump, and we're going to take this, where is it here? Um, before we, like, I'll get everything repaired, then we'll take the jump. We're going to go to, where is it here? Titan Attack. Yeah, because it's a assault mech, ass assaulting a base. So we're going to go uh, and uh, attempt to uh, do that one. We'll do it with the main lance. It's a lunar environment, so that's going to be very interesting. Um, it's like 50% heat sinking or 40% heat sinking that we get. So we'll have to be very careful with our heat. So will the enemy, but with our incendiary missiles, we should just like burn the enemy to a crisp, I think. So that will be the goal for that mission. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Get the get a chance to try out the T Samp cannon in extreme conditions. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping it works out great. So I'll take this when I jump, and the next 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 episode when we come back, that's the mission we'll be doing. Now this is a 20 day jump, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 20 days, so we should have everything back that we need back by then. All right, so I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, I apologize for the the distance between episodes. I'm going to try and get them up more regularly, but once again, it just depends on my schedule and the amount of heat that's in this attic. It's ridiculous. Like, you know, even at midnight when I turn off the AC to try and record, it heats up really fast up here. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so until next time, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can put any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.